So now that we understand our data, the next task will be to import that data into the Tableau software. And for that, you can see I have just opened a brand new Tableau workbook. And this is exactly your screen will look like when you open a brand new workbook. Of course, these are the files that were that I was just working on last. So you won't be able to see these files in your computer for now. Now, the first task will be to import the data. And for that, you can see that in our left panel, we have multiple options. We can import the data from Excel, text file, JSON, XS, PDF, and multiple options. And by the way, if you are using the full version of Tableau, I mean, I am in the public version right now, but if you are work working with the full version, you will be able to see much more options, especially including the databases. So you can also connect your database directly with that uh, Tableau so software and the process is going to be, you know, exactly the same. So since my data is uh, stored in Microsoft Excel, in this case, I will click, I will click here and then I will give it the file that it stores my data and I will click on open and system will quickly upload my file into my Tableau software and you can see that in your left panel we can see all of our data sheets that are appearing here but um, uh, let, let us keep this thing in mind that these files have not yet been uploaded into the system this is just appearing here to upload these sheets into my gel, I will have to manually drag the file from here, uh, from the, sh the sheet from here to this part of the uh, screen. And now you can see system has uploaded the data. And the first thing that we should ensure is that we should ensure that the fields that we can see here, I mean the columns, we must make sure that the data type has been uh, entered correctly. So this has been entered as a number this has been entered as a date you can see it as the icon but if you are not sure you can click here and you can go to change data type and you can see that what type has been selected and we should make sure that the data type has been selected correctly after that we have the territory key which has been stored as a number that is fine and then we have gl key that has been stored as number that is also okay account key i mean and then we have description which has been stored as a you know as a data string which means that it is stored in the uh, text form and then we have the amount which has also been entered in the amount format i mean the number format so these formats are usually going to be correct uh, system auto deducts them and similar information has been repeated here as well so now you know we cannot simply work with gl only we have to import the other tables as well so let us start with the territory for now and i will just drag this table from here to this uh, pane and you can see that system has also recognized this table and there are multiple things that we need to notice in this table so first of all you can see your complete table data here but you will also notice that in this case system has given it as a map icon which means that system has recognized this data is based on a liquidation so we have to make sure you know this geographical location has been given correctly in this case it has been given as country so this you know marking this properly as a country is going to be very important when we are working with the maps visuals in our uh, dashboards and after that let us look at this uh, region as well so in this case you know the map, map icon is not appearing so we have to go there and manually fix that and once you go there you can see you have multiple options you can even select the zip code level of data so that you know it can appear properly in your maps in this case i would again go with country oblique region okay so once you have done this basic data correction let us talk about the next very important thing and that is this line that system has automatically created for us so let me explain you what is happening you know gl is a separate table and territory is a separate table and by default the system won't recognize that how they can interact with each other so we have to tell the system but in this case in the case of tableau uh, system automatically tries to create a relationship that what is the possibility of interaction between these two tables and in this case system has recognized if you look at this third line here in this pop-up that is appearing territory key equals to territory key so system has automatically recognized that territory key is the field in both the tables that is common and we can interact on the basis of this field okay so this in this case it has been done perfectly fine so we do not have to change this if you have to you can do it here so you can you know select the field from here 
for the GL table and for the territory table and you can also adjust you know if the relationship is not built at all or if the relationship has not been built, built correctly you can change the fields from here the next thing that we have to understand is relationship cardinality that you can see here so in this case you can see that system by default has given it many to many cardinality now what is that let me explain you so you are seeing this territory table here in front of you and you can see that the territory key which is the element on the basis of which we are building the relationship has only been used one but if you look at the GL table you will see that the territory key has been repeated many times so in the GL we have 27,000 lines and only six territory keys are there I mean that six values have been repeated over and over again so on this side I mean in the GL the territory key has been repeated multiple times so when we talk about the relationship the cardinality should be many to one I mean that in the GL the territory key would be many but in the territory the cardinality would be one for that I will go to this performance options here and I will drag down and as you drag down you can see that you can adjust the cardinality as you need so for this case I would say many for the GL but when we talk about this territory I would say let us choose one so we have changed our cardinality from many to one okay so with that you know this is the basic relationship building which is also called data modeling we have completed that and we know we will now drag down the other tables as well in this case you know the chart of accounts and the calendar uh, we will skip the report structures we will only import them when we have reached those sections so i will bring in the chart of accounts now and you can see that system has by default created this relationship and this has been created on the basis of account key which is absolutely fine but if you talk about the cardinality again you can see that this cardinality is again many to many I would change it to many to one and now you can again click here and you can see that cardinality has been changed and this relationship has been created on the basis of account key now let us import our final table as well that is the calendar table and once you do that you can see that system has not just imported the data it has also created the relationship which again is many to many relationship in this case we should be changing it to many to one and you can also see that the related fields are you know on the basis of which this relationship has been established is calendar which is absolutely fine so I'll go to performance options I will drag down and I will say this cardinality would be many to one perfect so with that we have completed our data import and data modeling part and we are now ready to start preparing our reports and visuals let us do that from the next lecture